feel a little shy. It's been a while since I did one of these. Okay, so yeah, lots happened. So I had to take a little break from uh, the making the videos because they are kind of time consuming and I haven't had time. Um, <laughs> everything's been giving up. Giving up on life. Um, the roof's like, you know, it's spring and stuff. Uh, and um, my phone gave up and the washing machines like it's in. I was like oh my god and the laptop and it's, it was never ending so everything's in order I woke up this morning I gave everything into the dryer the washer uh, everything that could break down got a pet top today nobody's allowed to give up on life if I'm not nobody else is so um, we're good to go and uh, like I I, I want to cook like it's time to have fun so we're gonna cook and it's Friday and uh, you know we're cheer ourselves up so we're gonna cook bacon so yeah you know bacon uh, I have other recipes too so but we're gonna start with the bacon tonight well we're gonna do the other ones but we're gonna start with the bacon okay we are back um before I get started before I forget anything um Emma Noah Phillips bonjour Jenny Gabrielle Danica hello my tante says hi I love you uh miss you guys um okay so um the bacon I've already gotten ready it's all laid out in uh, my pan. You want to put it on a rack because you want the air to be able to go through it because you want this to become nice and crispy. Oh, did I even say what we were doing? So we're doing candied bacon with a uh, <laughs> maple brown sugar uh, Guinness beer um, coating and we are going to go dip those in some cashew peanuts because it's, you know, it goes great with beer or whatever you're drinking. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So you lay those out on rack, make sure air can go through it. Um, tonight, what are we drinking tonight? tonight? I'm almost done my bottle, it was delicious. It was like, ding, this is going top of the list. I am drinking Yellowtail uh, sparkling wine because, you know, I love my bubbles. And so yeah, this one was awesome, nice and crisp, not too sweet, not too, like, not too, ah. I don't know how to describe that feeling. I don't like when it feels like I have hair growing on my tongue. Um, this one's perfect. Okay, so uh, I should have bought more but tomorrow. Okay, so yes, oh, and before I start, uh, I pretty much stole this idea from Randy from the speakeasy the speakeasy caesar yeah um, it's a beard wine um it's my favorite thing to look forward to on sunday he's always got this awesome fabulous caesar out and it's it you know it's a masterpiece it's art it's 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 caesar art and i i look forward to it every sunday and a few weeks ago he um made some candied bacon for his caesar and i drooled and i've been dreaming about his candied bacon ever since so i'm pretty much stealing his idea and, and i'm craving cashews so we're gonna go throw some cashews in there too because why not right okay so bacon's ready and now we're gonna get um the sugar and all that good stuff ready too. So let me measure this stuff out, tell you how much we're doing, and then, uh, well, let's do it. Okay, so your oven is preheated, 400, so now you wanna put your bacon in before you start your sauce. Um, You want the bacon to sort of be hot before you start glazing it. Um, If not, it, it just won't suck it in. Like, it, it's gotta be a little bit warmed up. Okay, so trace the win. And we have one third cup of the hound sugar. And then we are gonna put one quarter cup maple syrup. Voila. And then we are going to... Oh, look at that. Okay, so, um, what is this? Guinness? Whoop, okay, now I'm feeding the floor. Okay, we are going to put, um, I don't know, about one third of a cup. Just a little bit more. Yeah, one third of a cup seems about right. Uh, maybe like half a cup. Okay, half a cup. in there for a sec okay. so i think i forgot to mention this but we are using uh, extra thick bacon for this uh, it, it goes better because you don't want a little crappy piece of bacon you want a nice big chunk of bacon when you eat it um so yeah we're gonna go with the thick bacon for that i'm gonna grab my little baby spatula uh, that's not what is it? a whisk okay so whisk all of this in so you can't feel uh, the sugar no more i'm gonna let that sit until my bacon's ready it's got another five minutes to go so we're gonna be doing this in intervals of 10 minutes so we're it's gonna cook for 10 minutes we are going to glaze it and then we are gonna let it cook for uh, another 10 minutes we are gonna glaze it 10 minutes glaze until uh, this is pretty much all done or until we see that the bacon just can't take no more so whichever one comes first and all in, in all it should take about I think an hour and then the bacon should be ready after that so while I wait for this, I will go back to my karaoke. I, uh, I was jamming out to some Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. All right, folks, we'll be back. Okay, so these have been in for 10 minutes. I'm gonna restore this, just make sure it's okay, it is. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes, okay, so um, it was cooking fast, faster than I would've liked, so I turned it down to 375. Um, we are going to start glazing these. And 
I'm gonna alternate them on racks also. Okay, back in they go for another round. We're gonna time this out. It's gonna be another 10 minutes. So in all, you should be doing this about six times. Six times or, well, you know, if that stuff's gone first, whichever one. Okay. And as you put them in, try to alternate them so it's not always the same tray that's on top. There we go. Okay, so here's to another 10 minutes. That's another two karaoke songs. Okay, so while the bacon cooks, uh, we are gonna get the cashews ready. So get planters, whatever you want. I ended up with trophy. I actually wanted planters, but I ended up with the trophy, peanuts, whatever. It's all good. Cashews. Okay. Uh, no measurements for this. Just you know, toss them in a bag, crush them, and go like that. And then we are going to karate chop. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. Let the air out of this. Yeah, like that. Sure. Good enough. Crush the power. All right. Uh, don't crush it too much because then you're going to end up with peanut butter. You're going to end up with cashew butter, actually. Um, you know, little chunks there. And, uh, okay. It's 2.30 in the morning. Let's wake up the whole neighborhood. Oh, my neighbors must love me. All right. So that's good enough. All right, good enough. So um, we're almost ready for a round. Was anybody counting? I'm not even counting. I think it's going to be round three of the bacon. Few more minutes and we'll get at it. All right, pull these out. Ooh. Oh, these are looking beautiful. Ooh, I'm so happy. Okay, look at these guys. These are starting to look fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna shove that one in the corner there. Shove another one. It's getting hot in here. Oh, I'm gonna finish that actually. All right, so there we go. Let's put that back up there. It's uh, it's nice in here. All right, so let's glaze these one more time. Okay, so this time we're gonna do it on the counter because um, the stove the, is being used because we are, you know, doing cooking two things. Um, okay, so one more, 
Um, this is actually starting to look really good. Um, we're gonna do it one more time in the oven, and after that, we are gonna coat them with the salted cashews, and we are gonna cook the salted cashews um, around, one round each side also. Because who doesn't like roasted salted cashews, right? Oh, look at this, it's all nice and sticky. This is what we wanted. This is perfect. This, other side. Okay, so in the oven this one will go, and we'll check back in another 10 minutes, and these are just about done. I'm literally drooling here. I can't wait to try these. Okay, so these are ready. Uh, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna just recoat them real fast so they're a little bit sticky. And then we're gonna take these. Oh, they're falling apart. Ah, here, let me move this. Okay. And we are going to dip them. I let them cool off, so this is what they now look like. Uh, they look delicious. So just unstick them, they've cooled off so they're not as sticky anymore. I have some plain ones here. And then I have the ones with the cashews. And um, as you can tell, there's one missing and that's because I tried it and uh, I'm giving it two thumbs up. And that's only because I only have these uh, two thumbs because if not, it would get like a hundred thumbs up because these are amazing. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hi. Okay, so uh, it is now Saturday night. Um, this has been in the fridge, so it had a chance to cool off and stuff, and, and we, which is what we want because this is like candy. Um, so here it is. Um, our Guinness maple cashew bacon strip candy. I don't know what we're calling it. It's delicious, though. I this, this is pretty much what's left. I, the plan was to bring some to people because I knew it was going to be good, but... You know, I'm a bacon lover, and this was, I, I should have done, like, four batches. I knew this wasn't going to last in my fridge, but I tried. I really did try. So, to everyone that's not getting a sample, I'm sorry. But it is what it is, and, you know. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please like and share, subscribe. I have a YouTube video, Frankie Ducharm. Go check that out. Um, and, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Share it, pass it along, share the love, and, uh, share the recipes and all that good stuff.